In this exercise, we'll review the upgrade kit for our ABX 2L Flex Lance tractor. If you're looking for the general service and overhaul video for the 2L tractor, please look for ABX 2L General Maintenance in the video index. This is a one-time upgrade that expands the ABX 2L's hose range capability from 6mm up to 8mm hose diameters. It does not affect the lower hose diameter range, which is still 3mm. We will review the upgrade in two sections. The first section is for upgrading the guide assembly, and the second is for upgrading the ABX 2L tractor itself. The guide assembly gets a new mounting bracket and quick release pin, new couplings, new adapters, and new guide tubes. Plus, there are new options for hose stop collets and hose stop clamps. We will address the 2L tractor from the hose intake in through the drive rollers and guides to the exit or guide assembly end. Along the way, you'll change the mounting bracket assembly here, new wear rings here, three hose guide blocks, and a new mounting bracket on the exit or guide assembly end. The kit also has new rollers for the larger hoses. To complete this upgrade, you will need a 7 16 wrench, a slot screwdriver, 243 Loctite, never seize or grease, and several hex key wrenches. An adjustable wrench will also come in handy. These tools will take care of both the ABX 2L tractor and the guide assembly. The first task is to unwrap and identify the parts separating them into parts for the guide assembly and those for the ABX 2L tractor. These are the parts for the guide assembly upgrade, including new guide tubes, couplings, adapters, quick release pin, hose collets and stops, inside mounting brackets, and collet reference decal. Here's what you'll find in your kit for the ABX 2L tractor. New drive rollers, two mounting brackets, one for each end, a rear mount inside assembly, hose guide blocks, and new wear rings. So let's get started. We will work on the guide assembly first. Disconnect the guide assembly from the 2L by releasing the lower quick release pin. The top pin can remain in place and the guide assembly will slide out as shown. Loosen and remove the two screws on the top and save. Next, loosen the four bolts holding the mounting bracket in place. You may need to use one of the guide tubes for extra leverage as shown. With these four screws out, separate the mounting bracket from the guide assembly. Note the couplings and adapters. You will replace those with new ones from your kit. Next, add Loctite to the screw and attach the new quick release pin lanyard to the new mounting block. Slide the new couplings into the mounting block, noting the O-rings at the inner end. Replace the block inside the guide assembly and tighten in place. Be sure to apply Loctite to all four screws. Once again, you can use a spare guide tube for extra leverage. It's time to install your new guide tubes. Secure the new adapters to the ends with a hex key wrench and slide the tubes into the guide assembly adapter end first. You will need to loosen the V-block adjusting bolt, which will free up the internal clamp mechanism so the new, larger guide tubes can pass through. Slide the first tube all the way into the coupling you placed in the mounting bracket earlier. Line up the shoulder on the adapter with the shoulder on the coupling. When in place, tighten the set screw. Repeat with the second guide tube. When both tubes are secure in the couplings, gently tighten the V-block adjusting bolt to secure the guide tube clamped inside. Select the proper hose collet stop from the three in your kit and drop it into the slot in the mounting block. We'll use the collet stop for 8mm hose since that's how we're setting up this example. Normally you would not choose the stop collet until you knew the setup for this particular job. Lock it in place by using the quick release pin, sliding it through the holes and locking the quick release. Set the guide assembly aside and turn your attention to the ABX 2L tractor. Open the ABX 2L to expose the lance drive system. Beginning at the intake end, remove the two quick release pins, freeing up the inside assembly and set aside. Now remove the mounting bracket with a hex key wrench. 
Next, remove the two drive rollers closest to the wear rings. There are quick release buttons on the drive shafts easily tripped with a slot screwdriver. With the rollers off, loosen the bolts that lock the wear rings in place with a 7 16 wrench. Remove the old wear rings and replace with new ones from your kit. Slide the new wear rings into the hose guide plate and tighten the two screws on top. Make certain the tubes are flush with the outside of the rear plate. Do not over tighten. You're ready to attach the new mounting bracket to the intake end. Apply Loctite to the screws and use your hex key to secure the four bolts. With the bracket in place, take the new inside assembly from your kit and mount it in the bracket as shown using the quick release pins. Note the larger passageway. Moving on, replace the three guide blocks. Use a hex key wrench here to loosen and replace each guide block with new ones from your kit. Be sure to apply Loctite to the threads on all six of these screws. Tighten with your hex key wrench. Now we'll tackle the mounting bracket on the guide assembly end. Remove the four screws with a hex key wrench and set the old bracket aside. Use Loctite on these screws as well and then screw the new mounting bracket into the 2L. If you haven't already done it, remove the last four drive rollers at this time. Since we've been setting up this example for 8mm hose, we'll swap out the orange rollers here for the blue ones from your kit. You should have three sets of drive rollers now, each set to be used specifically with different hose sizes. This is a step beyond the one-time upgrade, but it completes the process and the 8mm setup here. Normally, as we said before, you wouldn't choose the rollers and hose call it stop until you knew the specs for the particular job at hand. Before replacing the new rollers from your kit, apply never seize or grease to the drive shafts as shown. Slide the new rollers on, matching the keyway with the key. The spring button will automatically lock the roller in place. With the new rollers on, close the door and hook up the guide assembly using the method shown before. Your upgrade is now complete. If you have any questions or issues, contact our customer service specialists for support. Thanks for choosing Stone Age and keep on blasting.